Hi, my name is Jamie Curtis, and on this week's video announcements, there is a lot of interesting events. This week, we will be previewing Monday, February 13th through Sunday, February 19th. On Monday, February 13th, there is Valentine's Parties at East Elementary, Buckery Theater is hosting an OAP clinic starting at 8 a.m., Noah's Project is coming to South Elementary during the PE classes, and there's a Head Start parent meeting at 12 p.m. at East Elementary. On Tuesday, February 14th, the high school six weeks exams start and there will be science, fine arts, Spanish, and PE. Also, FFA St. Angela Ag Mechanics show starts. The last boys basketball game will be at Eastland at 6.30. There's also a baseball scrimmage at early, a varsity at 4.30 and JV at 7. On Wednesday, February 15th, the high school six weeks exams continue with math and social studies. Also, the Ag Mechanics show at St. Angela Stock Show continues. There's picture day at East Elementary, so you might want to look sharp for that, and also the Valentine's parties continue at East Elementary. Thursday, February 16th, the high school six-week exams still continue with English, vocational, and business. Also, there's a softball tournament in Jacksboro at 8 a.m., the talent show for South Elementary at 6 p.m. at Bailey. Also, we have an interview with Miss Raining telling us all about that. Hi, I'm Ms. Rainey. I'm the principal here at South Elementary, and we are here to talk to you today a little bit about the talent show that's coming up. It's going to be on Thursday, um, and we have a lot of our students here at South participating, and they're going to be showing off their talent, anything from dancing, singing, skits, um, and there's always a few surprises thrown in there, so it's going to be a great time, so we invite you to come out to Bailey and watch all of our kiddos participate and show off their talent starting at 6 o'clock on Thursday. Friday, February 17th, it is the last day of the fourth six weeks. Art to Go comes to South, and the Jack Sparrow Softball Tournament continues. Saturday, February 18th, there is a one-act play clinic in Wichita Falls beginning at 9 a.m. Also, the Softball Jack Sparrow Tournament continues. Also, something very interesting happened at the junior high last week. There was a student who was principal for the whole day, and the actual principal, Mrs. Etzel, was his assistant. Here she is telling us all about that. Hi, my name is Mrs. Etzel, and I'm the principal here at Breckenridge Junior High, and this is Christian Reed. And he is our principal for the day. Christian actually won a principal for the day book challenge that began on the 25th of January. Um, he read, what book did you read? Uh, the Graveyard Book. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This book is a, um, it's really in AR, it's a 10th grade level book, and there are 67,000 words, and the challenge was that the child that read the book first um, and took the AR test and came and talked to me about the book would win the ability to be principal for the day. Um, he did that. Not only did he take the AR test, he made a 100, and then he was also able to just have a really good conversation about the book um, and the main character. Who's the main character? Bod Owens. Bod Owens. What's his real name? Nobody Owens. Nobody Owens. And so he was able to learn some really good lessons from Bod. Um, I think lessons that could be applied to his life. Um, so he got to choose um, which day, but what did you have to do when choosing which day? Make sure that it was the right day, didn't have to present any projects or anything like that. Yeah, didn't have to present any projects. So what about work? I mean, how are you handling that? I'll have to make it up. Have to make it up. So he had to communicate with his teachers and, and take, um, you know, be a leader and be responsible. Um, and he, he got here early this morning at 740. You'll notice he's got this really nice tie on and he's getting a taste of um, being principal for the day. And, and to be honest with you, it's principal for a day, but I, I like to refer to myself as um, the lead learner. So he's lead learner for the day. Um, and this is really a part of our, our hands-on development or leadership development program. So what are some of the things that not that we've done, but we're going to do. Well, we have some items on the agenda. Uh, we're going to eat lunch with the band. We're going to walk the hallways, make sure kids are doing what they're doing. We're doing what they're doing? <laughs> yeah. Doing what they're supposed to do? Yes. That's what right. Supposed to do. That's right. And then we're going to a rotary club and then we'll have the rest of the day to plan. Yeah, yeah. It, thus far, we've been in a meeting today. Um, we Have we been sitting just eating bonbons? No. It's pretty busy, huh? Yes. Okay, do you want to be principal full-time? Probably. Mr. Seymour, full-time. <gasps> okay. 
Um, so that's really it. I, I, we're going to end up having two more principles for the day um, this year. Um, there will be another book challenge, and I always choose books that I've read so um, I can have conversations with kids about, about reading. And we just really want to get our kids reading, so that's it. This week, we also have a new edition of the high school newspaper called The Dynamo. It will be in Wednesday's Breckenridge American, so look for that. It will be really good. Also, Kayla Duran and Maria Alvarado, the student co-editors, are going to tell us about this new issue. Hello, I'm here with Maria Alvarado and Kayla Duran, the student co-editors of The Dynamo, and they're going to be talking to us about their current issue. Okay, um, so our current issue of The Dynamo was uh, focused mainly on the topic of social justice warriors and we took um, our own perspectives and put them into three really good articles which are um, the first three of the articles in our issue and then uh, we also included some pictures and results from the stock show and some pictures from coronation and that pretty much wraps it all yeah. up we want to wish everybody a great week, and don't forget to check the school website because sometimes things change, and thank you for tuning in this week.